Good evening, Maria. It's Nico from Cliff Jones RV over here in Sealy. So I know you're going to be making a long drive over here uh, to take a look at this RV tomorrow. So I want to go ahead and make this video. That way you can get a little bit uh, closer idea of what all is included in this 2019 Forest River Cherokee Grey Wolf 264L. So this model has been really popular. As I'm sure you know, for the price point, it really includes a lot of features that others don't. Great thing is this one does have an electric tongue jack. That way you don't have to manually crank when you hook and unhook from your vehicle. It has this bright LED light here that helps you to see in all lighting conditions uh, when you hook up your seven way plug, uh, your breakaway cable and your safety chains. So if you wanna raise, all you have to do is push that button. To lower it, just push that one. That's all you gotta do. Um, if you like to look at worst case scenario like I do, this one does have a manual override. So in case you lose power, all you have to do is unscrew this and you have access to the drive bolt right there. This RV does have two 20-pound uh, propane tanks, which is plenty for a weekend getaway. That'll run the gas and electric refrigerator, gas and electric water heater, um, also the stove and oven, of course. Great thing about our dealership, our price includes making it ready and also freight. Unfortunately, some places, uh, they don't tell you about that until you get there, but that is included with our price. All I have to count for is tax, title, and license. So if we can earn your business, we will fill both these propane tanks. We will install a deep cycle interstate marine battery right here. We'll wash it, detail it, and spend a good hour with you and show you how everything works. This RV also has a diamond plate up here to protect you from rocks and debris when you're going down the road. This is the storage compartment in the front. You have a pretty good amount of storage there. This RV does have two entrance doors. So the nice thing about that, uh, you know, let's say you're at the beach and you want to go ahead and go to the bathroom. You can easily get to the bathroom uh, from this door right here. It actually leads into the master bedroom, uh, but the bathroom is uh, connected. So, you know, you can just easily jump in and out. You don't have to trek sand all through the RV. Uh, so that's really nice about having the secondary door there. Uh, you do have a scare light right here that helps illuminate everything. You also have the electric awning uh, that has blue LED lights too. So even at night, you can see what's going on around your RV. This unit also <clears throat> is prepped for solar panels. Uh, this is a 10 amp uh, connection. So what that will do, if you purchase solar panels, you can keep your battery charged, keep your lights on with that. If you want to run everything, you need a generator or 30 amp power. This is a black tank flush. So the great thing about this, Whenever your tanks are full, all I have to do is open the black tank, connect a water hose, and it flushes the black tank for you. So you do not have to get a wand to stick it down the toilet or do the old ice trick. This is the most, uh, most effective way to flush your black tank. It reduces smell and gives you more accurate tank reading. Right over here, you have grounded power connections. You also have uh, audio visual connections here for your multi-purpose radio. Uh, this RV does have marine grade speakers outside. They also have LED lights too. Uh, they're blue to match the awning. You can play music just inside or just outside or both. This RV also has a connection for a TV right here. So if you wanna sit outside and watch the game or watch a movie, uh, you can connect it right here. This works with the same mount that's on the inside. Uh, this TV will work with a 32 inch TV, which is a pretty good size. You can bring it inside and outside. This is the access for the refrigerator in case you ever need maintenance. This is the exhaust for the propane furnace. So the good thing about this, if you're standing outside on a day like today when it's pretty chilly, if you have your furnace running, you can stand next to this exhaust and get a little bit of heat. Also, this is a range hood in the kitchen. This actually works. Uh, if you're cooking inside and you don't want your RV to smell like food all day, you can turn the vent on and it will vent outside. It's not just there for looks. Great thing about this RV, it does have the upgraded steps that people absolutely love, the step above steps. These steps are like something you'd find on a fifth wheel. They're very sturdy. You can adjust the feet to different ground heights so people of all ages can easily get in and out. In addition to this, it has an extra large door handle. Some RVs just have a tiny little plastic handle right here, but this one's huge. It does have a three folding position as well. And this is the main entrance door. Uh, this is a friction hinge door. So the good thing about that, it doesn't have a plastic piece here nor does it have it here. There's no pneumatic storm door type deal. Uh, if the wind is blowing, it'll easily open itself. It's not gonna slam against your RV. This uh, door also has a screen door. So if you wanna get good cross ventilation going, it has a patented door opening system right here. So you can open and close the door without letting any bugs in. And of course the awning is electric on this one as well. So that's nice. Um, right over here is the cargo rack. It's rated for 200 pounds. So you can put a generator, ice chest, stuff like that for extra storage. 
This is a spare tire, conveniently located on the back in case you ever need it. Uh, this RV is also prepped for a backup camera. So if you would like to get a backup camera, they definitely can help save lives for safety. And of course, you know, it's kind of funny, but some RVs do not include stabilizer jacks. Our RVs do. These are manual, but a quick fix is just to get a drill and a three quarter inch bit and you can quickly move uh, your jacks up and down. Here is the large single slide right here. It's in the living area. And right over here, this is the 30 amp power connection that I know was important to you. This RV is 30 amp, so it's pretty universal for most parks. It's ready for cable, if you want to hook up cable. These are the dump stations right here for gray and black. They're completely located together. Right over here is the city water connection. So if you're at an RV park, you go up here for constant water. If you want to go off the grid and take water with you, uh, you can fill this tank. And um, still, you know, take a shower, flush your toilet, wash your hands, everything like that. This is the outside shower with hot and cold water. So uh, if you're at the beach, you can wash your feet off and not get sand all inside. This is the gas and electric six gallon rapid heat water heater. Uh, so as long as you have propane or power, you can always have hot water. All right, now we'll go inside. Okay, let me give you a 360 view here while I turn the radio down. Okay, continuing on. There we go. So this is a rear living RV, the Cherokee uh, Gray Wolf 264L. Great thing is, it has super comfortable recliners. Uh, they're not bolted down, so you can move them a little closer, move them to the left or the right, whatever fits best for you. Um, it does have overhead storage here. Out of the way. Also, same on that side over here. Great thing about this RV, all the lights are pancake LED lights, so they use less power, generate less heat. They will last a lifetime, so you don't have to worry about changing bulbs. Also, a great thing about these, the accordion style blinds are really easy to open and close. You don't have to fiddle with them uh, like some of the older blind systems that are out there. Here is the large single slide with LED light as well. Uh, this is a jackknife sofa, so it will easily turn into a bed to sleep one person. Uh, great thing about this RV, it does have cup holders with LED lights, so you can find your drink at night. And also, it does have um, the USB chargers there, so if you need to constantly charge your devices, that makes it nice and easy. You also have USB chargers right over here as well, beneath that light. Uh, you do have a little bit of storage underneath here as well. This is the large dinette. Uh, the whole family can sit here and enjoy a meal, play a card game, whatever you want to do. Um, also, that turns into a bed to sleep two people. And you do have storage that goes all the way back on both sides. So storage is definitely not a problem in this RV. Coming over here, this is where the 32-inch TV will fit. Uh, you have power connection and also uh, this switch is from the HD antenna that's built in to cable. This is the mount I was telling you about outside, so uh, you can pull the TV from in here and bring it outside easily. This is the all-in-one radio. It's AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth. It has auxiliary input, headphone output, and USB. It also has NFC as well, so you can play nearly anything through it. You have a little bit of storage here for a Xbox or PlayStation, whatever you want, or just, you know, movies. Uh, more storage over here. Great thing about this RV, it does have a 30-inch electric fireplace. So this um, is really great because you have a propane furnace, but of course uh, propane costs more than electricity. So with this electric fireplace on a day like today, uh, you could have the fireplace going and just use electricity and not have to burn propane uh, during the summer. If you just want to add a little ambiance, you can kill the heat and just have a light show. It is adjustable. A couple different color settings, so that's nice. Uh, the furnace comes from the ground here, so it does have a propane furnace. Um, if you do need to get extra heat, this is the door to the bathroom. Here you have a little pantry to store food. And more underneath. This is the 8 cubic foot 
gas and electric refrigerator. So the good thing about that, uh, you have plenty of room in here to store food and everything. Also, if you ever lose electricity, uh, it will automatically switch over to propane within 30 seconds. That way you don't spoil your food. Right over here is the microwave. Great thing about this microwave, it is a residential power, so it doesn't take as long for uh, food to heat up. It does also have a carousel, so your food is evenly heated. This is the range that I was talking about that actually works. This is the brand new <clears throat> Furion stove and oven. So the great thing is you have this glass insert here to give you extra space to prep. When you're ready to cook, it has a three burner uh, cooktop, not a four burner like the older styles. So the great thing is you don't need specialty pots and pans. Also, the stovetop has igniters, and then also uh, the oven has igniters. So that's pretty rare. A lot of RVs nowadays do not have uh, igniters in the oven, but the Furion does. And if you like LED lights like I do, it also has LED lights right here as well. And right over here is extra storage on top. And right over here, you do have the residential style faucet. It makes it easier to wash dishes, vegetables, whatever you need. Also, this is a um, undermount <clears throat> large stainless steel sink. So the reason why that's important, some sinks are plastic, which is going to capture bacteria and stain. But this one, coffee, sodas, uh, coffee and soda is not going to stain it. Uh, it's more sanitary. I'm not going to capture bacteria. Also, it doesn't have a lip right here to catch, uh, you know, if you're making food. Uh, some of that can catch on the silicone, but with this one you don't have to worry about it. It's really nice and easy to clean off um, the counter here. And this is the MSRP sheet. shows you all the options and everything that's included with this RV. So uh, this RV has over $5,700 of options on here. So really a lot of value. Um, also the MSRP is $34,100, so we have this RV discounted over $10,000 off coming around over here this is where your main controls are uh, so this is where you get into the slide control uh, excuse me that's the awning slide controls right next to it all these light switches USB chargers here also this is where you monitor your tanks you have the gray tank sink and shower black tank sewer tank fresh tank for uh, taking water with you and also check for your battery you have controls for the water heater and also the uh, water pump right here and two power connections. If you're ever dry camping, you want to run the pump. That way uh, it can get the water moving. If you're at a park with pressurized water, you don't need to run the pump. All right, so coming through here, we will go through the bathroom. So the bathroom is a really good size. Uh, plenty of room to change, do everything you need to do. Uh, right over here is the sink. It does have two power connections, so if you want a blow dryer, anything like that, you have easy access to it. Here is the medicine cabinet, so plenty of room to store everything you need. And you also have storage underneath the sink as well, a little bit. So right over here, you have storage for linens, everything like that. Extra storage there. And right over here, you have a towel hanger or a clothes hanger which is really nice some RVs don't have them that definitely would come in handy right above me is the fantastic vent so the reason why this is important during the uh, hot Texas heat before you leave to go somewhere what's a really good thing to do is to open this vent and it has four different power settings so if you turn this on before you leave it'll keep your RV 15 to 20 degrees cooler versus not having it that way your AC doesn't have to work as hard to uh, cool it down and also speaking of the AC, let's come down here. Uh, this AC is upgraded to a 15,000 BTU versus a 13.5. It is ducted, it'll keep the whole RV nice and cool. Also it has this feature right here, if you have it open, it drops all the air right here, it's a quick dump. If you close it, it circulates through uh, the vents very efficiently. And back over here we have the large new angle shower, which is really nice. So I'm about six feet tall and I still have room for me and my beanie here. So it definitely will accommodate people of uh, different heights. This is the control for the thermostat uh, for the furnace and the AC. Here you have a privacy door to the bedroom. So here we are in the master bedroom. 
So you have a ward on the left side to hang clothes, a ward over here to hang clothes, and also you have a little nightstand for food and drinks. Uh, you do have USB chargers and standard chargers on both sides. And there is storage underneath the bed as well. Nice thing is it has a hydraulic assist, so it makes it really easy. Uh, usually when I shoot videos, I have to struggle opening it, but this is easy to open with one hand, at least it's self-open. Makes it nice and easy. And also, it is prepped uh, for TV. You have power connection and auxiliary connections. So uh, if you would like to add a backer for TV, we could help you out with that. Okay, Maria again, Nico from Cliff Jones RV over here in Sealy. Uh, hopefully you'll be out here tomorrow. Uh, I know you said it's a seven hour drive. We're here from eight to six, so please let me know what time works best for you. If you have any questions or concerns, you can reach me at 979-253-253. 2611. Thank you so much.